you know, nobody ever sees things coming in the future. So a year ago, we probably never seen this caffeine, this network, this type of ceiling mm -hmm. for, for media. And now that it's expanded so much, beyond the fact that seeing what it could potentially be, what's been the funnest part of all this for you? Like, what, what's been, like, something that no, people don't get a chance to see that you're like, I really love doing what I do because of this, and we don't get a chance to, to witness that. Oh, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. Uh, and it's just as far as the hosting and all that is concerned. Yeah, as as a, as a whole, it's like you being a host, being involved, with ultimate madness, and I mean, I'm gonna just I'm I, I, the best part for me, man. And, and this is coming from a nigga who has had to pay for several tri trips. You know what I mean? To keep the YouTube lit and this, that, and the other. You okay. hear it, you hear it in the song. Uh. Uh, the, uh, it's on now a nigga flight and shit. It's on the company. Like, feels good for a company to believe in you enough to say, all right, we're going to fly him out. We're going to book his hotel. We're going to pay him. All he has to do is be himself. That shit feels the fucking amazing. I, I wanted to be a rapper. Not so, I am a rapper, but I'm not worried about blowing up or being the next Drake no more. I, the same way I told my son, it's a dude named Stephen A. And I told him that years ago. It's a dude named Stephen Nay. You know what I mean? Now it's a dude named Henny Man that had rapping dreams, but got in the door with his personality and, and his knowledge on the sport. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's that's the best part about it to me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love that shit. But other than that, man, just learning new things, you know what I mean? With every stride, I try to pick up. When I walk in the door, I want to know everybody's name. I want to show everybody respect so that I can, you know what I mean, gain in, in everything and apply it to any single part to what I do outside of this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And show the company I respect it as well, man, because I do see URL growing with caffeine and both companies growing outside of each other as well, man. Like, I like I love this shit for real. It, it just feels good to be on the inside of what's sure to be, uh, you know what I mean, a great, great thing. Uh, Muscle Hamster says, Henny Man's a great man to work with. Bill Collector said, please send me oh, the shit, open. Oh, shit, Muscle Hamster in here. Uh, Bill Collector said, please send me the open verse. Let's work, bro. Um, nah, I'm gonna send that today. I'm gonna yeah. send that today, Bill. Salute Muscle Hamster, man. Yeah, my, Muscle Hamster fire. has gotten me through a lot of shit, man. A lot That's of shit. Mm -hmm. I thought I knew what OBS did until I met Muscle Hamster. And he start, he took over my computer a couple times. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's that big brother shit. That's yeah. You're like, oh. Yeah, I just like, said, how do you okay. find that? <laughs> that shit felt like a Tesla. You drive, motherfucker. It's lit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's lit. You that you actually ha I think you might have the the second biggest profile on caffeine like next to URL you have a bigger following than Surf on this goddamn yeah, platform. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. I don't oh, I don't credit sure. that to anything I did right except for naming my shit Battle Rap Trap and that's just when caffeine started and they said Battle Rap is at caffeine I think niggas just saw Battle Rap I'm following that shit. You know what, you know what I mean? You mentioned that I have a really interesting question now like. The, the the biggest dynamic between you and black the streets mm. meet the suits mm. and what do you have to say to the fans or the supporters or the consumers that you know watch battles on caffeine and say oh battle rap is getting diluted it's getting um you know commercialized like do you feel that way I, I don't feel that way at all but now that you're in the insides and they let you be yourself do you feel like caffeine is trying to take control of I, what i feel like is is the in the ring shit is exactly the same. None of the integrity of the sport has been compromised. I feel like caffeine is trying to upgrade the look and presentation of it. One thing they definitely did was got us off a of real nigga time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit is on schedule. You could actually time. Plan. Hey, yeah, you man, can actually yo. plan Saturday. <laughs> if being commercialized is being on time, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. uh, you could tell your girl we might go to dinner after this. You know what I mean? Like that was never an option at first. Hey, no, Mike, you can plan your night, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yo, the pay-per-view days, oh yeah, three o'clock the stream starts. And we ain't done till like eleven at night. It's like yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. This, ain't, this is ridiculous, man. Like we can't be living right. like. Yo. Think yeah. about you being at the battle. I remember I've been. I think. Oh like yeah, you heard. Last year, no, we Hell was in yeah. there till like one o'clock. Yeah, you heard. You heard. I had to bring my. We was there literally all day and night. 
crazy. I brought my massage <laughs> gun, man. Because I, I feel, but I, no, no matter what, and I'm gonna get back to the original question. But no matter what, I feel like somebody should have to before you're an official fan, you should have to sit through one of them long ass events. That's, That's like right. initiation. We had to go through that shit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We had to go through it. Go stand in line for for an extra four hours. Then let's do something. <laughs> Let me know what's real. Like, Let me know what's real. In media, there's always like. The guys who go to events versus the guys who don't go to events. Yeah. I mean, all yeah. the back and forth, like, that's stupid. Well, all hell I'm saying yeah. is that everyone in media should have to go to at least one event and sacrifice your body for the culture. Yeah. That shit is real, yo. It hurt. It Y'all hurt. know about that lower back pain and the feet It's going a different out type of pain. And the, niggas, it's some niggas that stand up for eight hours for their work, but it's, it's a, some type of difference standing up eight hours for bars, man. It's like, Drunk it's a it's an impatient eight or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But to uh but to answer your original question, man, as far as uh caffeine or any big company like commercializing the sport, I, I think that caffeine actually came in knowing they don't know everything about the culture and being willing to learn what they don't know. You know what I mean? That's that's what I noticed from being behind the scenes. We know what happened with Genesis, and we see every every time they, they show face, they're trying to improve things. And I know from behind the scenes, I spoke with uh, Craig you know what I mean, before, and he's like, yo, I know that they think that uh, think a certain way, but you know what I mean? It's, sometimes people just got to be made aware of certain things to really understand because they wasn't involved in the culture at first. But they're very dedicated to learning this shit, though. And that's what I got to commit. It's not like they trying to get it and change it. They trying to get it and conform to it. You know what I mean? While still maintaining the, you know what I mean, the presentation that they want to bring, you know what I mean, to the culture. I think that's fire. Now, Henny, you mentioned a little bit earlier that they definitely got the culture off RNT. Yeah. And been trying to do it for 10 years. Yeah. What, what did caffeine bring to the table that finally made all these MCs and everyone in the culture show up on time now? A Bloomberg article that said 113 million. We knew we was, <laughs> was, we knew we was dealing with the big boys already. You know what I mean, like we knew it, it's a different energy. It's like, yo, you don't want to be the nigga who was on a motherfucking ship for 10 years and then right before it gets to the destination, you're going to jump off board. You gonna fuck that money up now? Hell no. Now, if that's what I gotta do, that's what I'm gonna do. I bet. Let's get it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm about to say. I didn't want to say it before you, but I knew that bag. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah, is that shout out to that? You wanna be late and be deducted a bag? Mm-hmm. And then you wanna okay, secure secure so. future.